Hey guys, it's Mike here and welcome to Autovlog. Today I am really excited because we have a fun car to take a look at. I am uh, pleasantly surprised by this car as you will uh, notice as this review goes on. But the car that we're taking a look at today is a 2014 Mini Cooper S. Here it is. 2014 Mini Cooper S is probably one of the most fun cars that I've ever driven. We're going to take a quick look at the exterior here. So you can see it's red. It's got some cool black stripes across the hood. And while we're standing here at the hood, um, take a look at the engine. It's a two liter four cylinder twin turbo engine with 189 horsepower. Give it a quick walk around here. Just want to, it's got these awesome LED headlights around these alien looking lights it has <laughs> would I prefer that it was black yes I apologize about the wind here I hope you guys can hear me Let's see if we can open it up real quick not much storage space in the back here seats can fold down though like so dual exhaust here or a twin pipe exhaust system that sounds awesome you will hear that here shortly we have 17 inch wheels sitting on 205 45 with diameter tires cool little chrome details around the car gas cap there all right Black roof, cool looking, blue panel moonroof. We all know where this car comes from. But I'm not gonna rabble on for too much longer here. Let's just jump inside the car and go for a drive. Name of it, it's just 
just sounds like a small car. It looks like a very tiny car, but it's actually roomy in here. I mean, there's not, you know, backseat room, but who gives a shit about that? This is a driver's car. This is fun to drive. What? Some weird noise coming out. Fuel reserve. Okay, I guess we need some gas here. So. As I mentioned, I mean, these seats, they're, they're just amazing. And the smiles that this car gives me is what matters. I love driving this car. I love the way that it sounds. Even when it downshifts, you hear that snap, crackle, and pop in the exhaust. It's just amazing. I mean, it's a four-cylinder. They usually never sound good. I mean, I understand there's most likely a lot of sound enhancements and stuff in this car, but I, I'm impressed. This car is badass. Like I said, we're going to go through the interior, but just looking at this thing, I mean, I mean, it's nice. It's got the little moonroof, panoramic moonroof and everything. See here, I just want to punch it.
Okay, so let's take a look at this awesome interior of this Mini Cooper S. If you open the door here, just a very nice design in my opinion. Love the handles, just the buttons in general. Excuse the wind, we're gonna jump inside here. Before we do that, take a look at the seats. Black leather interior. These seats are manual, they're not, they're not power, but it has this cool little thing here for support. Just nice little details that I love about this car. Perfect little armrest. Love the steering wheel. I'll turn it off here. Steering wheel just has such a nice size to it, nice feel. It's not leather wrapped, but still very nice feel. And this part right here, I love the uh, infotainment screen here. It's not a touch screen. It's more controlled by these buttons right here. We'll get into that in a minute here. But what we're gonna do is start it up. And it has these awesome toggle switches. So here we have, this car actually has a uh, start stop technology feature where you can turn that off manually then you got your trash and control button right there we already took a look at the key but just keep that in the cup holder right there put your foot on the brake this illuminates in red even that little chime is cool in my opinion it says fuel reserve. We noticed that on the test drive. Get your instrument gauges here, speedometer, and then you have your tachometer. As we move along up here, more toggle switches for your sunroof. And just lighting switches and so on. So on the steering wheel we have just navigation buttons uh, voice activation button to answer your phone and then your cruise control but I want to focus more on the screen here navigate it through this button here we're going to click the menu we're at the menu actually and then by turning this knob here you get to different info Whole bunch of different information here. Your owner's manual here. I mean, how cool is that? I'm click the back button. Your phone. Multimedia. It has a Harman Kardon stereo system, which never does justice in these reviews when you turn the volume up, but. It is a, it's an okay system. I actually thought it'd be a little better sounding being a Harman Kardon. But the main thing with this car, obviously, in my opinion, is that it's a driver's car, so I don't really care that much about the stereo. So, it's a six speed automatic transmission, slap shifter, manually manual transmission is an option but um, I mean I've driven manuals my whole life and yes a car like this uh, a manual would really it, it would be fun I, I'm not gonna 
uh, lie about that, but I actually prefer a really good automatic transmission. One thing that's missing on this car that I feel that it should have is a backup camera. So that is non-existent, at least on this model here. It is a tiny car, so you know it's a lot easier to back up and uh, you know maneuver in that way. But backup camera, you know, I'm, I'm spoiled with that now, so I definitely want that. There are these seats again, Alcantara slash suede inserts. Just perfectly bolstered, so nice. Back seats, not a lot of room there. I'm gonna step out real quick. There's actually a lever behind here. Right there, and you just pull the seat. You know, not the most optimal family car. <laughs> but just so much fun to drive. I just love the design of this car. The buttons, the seats, and this little chrome details, even on the parking brake here. Just very nice. given this car a final overlook here oh yeah and this carbon fiber dashboard here is also very nice speaker up there so yeah guys I think this is it as you uh, most likely could tell I'm very excited about this car an awesome vehicle and uh, very happy that I got to drive it and review it real quick for you guys here so as always let me know what you think of this car in the comment section below and if this is your first time visiting my channel check out some of the other videos and if you like them hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time